Good morning. I am still in Bend. I just had a nice little breakfast with Michael and Megan from Fresh Off The Grid. If you're into van cooking and traveling and look, eating well while you travel, you should really check out either their website, their Instagram, or more importantly, their YouTube. I'll link all of that in the description. They're super rad. I'm going to be working with some of their recipes actually in the near future. I want to do a video where it's like just my favorite recipes for van dwelling. So I'll be doing that coming up very soon. So stay tuned for that. Today's episode actually is kind of new, if you'll notice. This is a lav mic. I am filming today's entire episode on my cell phone. So that is a Samsung S6 and a Rode live video mic. So this is, uh, that's it, that's my entire setup. So it's uh, hopefully today's episode will show you that uh, you don't need a very expensive camera to get very good vlogs. So let's get today started. Starting to head north out of Bend we're gonna see some cool stuff. Welcome to the first stop of the day is Smith Rock. It's uh, kind of a rock climbing mecca. I thought there'd be more bouldering here, but apparently not. I don't know, maybe we'll find some, but uh, to be honest, I'm kind of sore after yesterday. That hike through the snow for like five miles just did not, uh, did not do me any good. So I'm going to uh, just check out the park and see the beautiful landscape and we'll do something else later. But for now, Smith Rock Park. Turns out that state park had a lot of great bouldering. I did a little bit, I didn't have my shoes with me, but uh, the truth of the matter is like, my hips feel like whatever's inside of them that's supposed to keep them spinning has turned into dust. So that hike yesterday was like really, really long and it just kicked my ass. So I'm not feeling great, but I'm not feeling terrible really either. I just kind of don't feel like bouldering, that's all. 
So instead of hit up this campsite, this beautiful spot is not far from that national park, that uh, state park at all. And it's actually an OHV area. So um, there's a lot of great, great trails for um, small dirt bikes and small ATVs. And it's like really well set up for an amateur dirt rider like me. So finally, I have seemed to have reached an OHV area that is actually perfectly suited for my style of riding. So I'm gonna go do some of that. Riding here is amazing. It is just so cool to be able to be somewhere where I can like thrash it really hard, but I'm only in like second gear. I only get up to the top end of second gear. So I'm not really going that fast, but boy, does it feel like I'm flying. Single track is so narrow. It's so much fun and it's so well set up for the bike. I just, it was great. A lot of good riding. I'm camping out here with Keith. Keith is, uh, uh, he reached out to me on Instagram and he's got this crazy self-built trailer. This all-wheel drive diesel, is it diesel? Yep. Diesel truck, all-wheel drive diesel truck, tra trailering a self-built trailer. I imagine fairly damn cheap because he works some odd jobs and the rest of the time he gets to explore the country. And that's what it's all about. So like, this is a very different take on the van life, but yeah, it's cool. So a viewer of my channel sent me this stuff. This is a, like a fire starter kit. I'm supposed to only use a quarter of it. I've never seen that kind of stuff before. And uh, honestly, I didn't think much of it, but we're gonna do it with some really big kindling. So if it can burn, if it can catch this fire, then it's probably pretty damn good. And then we're gonna make some dinner on this fire. And it blows, burns like kerosene almost. It almost has a kerosene smell to it. Interesting. I am impressed with this thing so far. Not bad at all. What do you think, Keith? Love it. Works good. I'm for it. All about it.
beats.